This is Matt, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the slideshow in Reaper. So let's get in uh, to Reaper. And it's a lot like working in the older function in GarageBand, where you can just drag um, images into it and arrange them, uh, sort of like pieces of audio. So uh, I, I'm going to start from sort of cluttered space here. So I have some pictures you can see here, JPEGs. And then there's some audio that I'm going to throw in there and put together a, a sort of shortened version of this project. So uh, at the end of the project, you should have 8 to 12 slides. Uh, you can see I only have three here. Um, but the first thing you do is uh, save the project as. So this is where Reaper uh, is a little bit tricky. You want to make sure that it creates a, a folder for it immediately. Um, I'm going to save this one on my desktop and I'm just going to call it delete. You should name it with your last name and the assignment. Um, and then, and make sure you have create subdirectory for the project and copy all media into the project. Otherwise, what's going to happen is it'll start putting these re-peaks uh, files all over your desktop or wherever you're working. So I'm going to hit save here. And you'll see uh, the delete folder just opened up. And you can see the, the Reaper files in there. And now it's time to drag some things in. So I'm going to drag a picture of a, a slot canyon. It's kind of hard to see what this is here. Um, but the first thing you do is turn your snap to grid off. Then you can slide things around in time. And uh, if you're working with any sort of image, the next thing you probably want to do is see a bigger version of it. So if you go to View and go to the vid Video window, you can have a larger video window that you can resize. And then it's time to um, maybe stretch this out in time a little bit. Uh, you can always move them around like this. And then I'm just going to drag my next image in here. So the basic story I have here is you're walking down a slot canyon. And then you, there's a little thunderstorm in the desert. And then maybe um, how about a flash flood? So I'm going to drop my flash flood image in here. And then it's OK if it doesn't uh, sit right where you want to, because you can stretch the margins out on the side like that. And then you, um, let's move this over and go back to the beginning. And watch how the images change as I hit play. So it'll play for about three seconds here. And right at this point, the image should change. And then we should have another image change right there. And that's the preview. And then from there, a lot of it is going to be like your last assignment where you were doing the uh, telling the story with just sounds and Foley. Um, but what I want you to do is use at least three different sounds uh, for each slide. So if you go back to the first slide, uh, let's see, maybe we have some distant thunder. I have some, I don't know, what else do you think? Walking sounds, maybe some breathing. So I've got some sounds in here that need to be um, trimmed. So you can trim them from the margins, make sure it comes in the right spot. Um, somebody breathing, and then the footsteps. I'm going to have this come in right at the beginning, too. And then uh, the other step that I really want you to do for this assignment is be sure to use the trim tool and engage um, the pan and volume automation lanes. And this is something I'm going to go into your Reaper documents and be checking to make sure that you have drawn a few points in um, and done some sort of automation here and there. So I went over that in the last tutorial. Uh, you don't have to do much, but I just want to see that you can get in here and draw curves like this. OK. So let's close that up. and. Um, take a step back a little bit. Uh, you can see that these audio files uh, stretch a long way. So I'm going to shorten, shorten them. And one question a lot of students have is, can the sounds overlap? And the answer is yes, they can overlap um, slides. Uh, you definitely want to, in certain cases, to make smoother transitions. But I want to see or hear three specific, uh, discrete, different sounds for each um, for each slide. So here's some thunder. I'm going to bring this back here. And let's 
let's see. I need, I guess, one more sound. So now I have three sounds in there. <clears throat> so obviously these need to be trimmed back so that they match up with the, the image up at top. And you can do two things. You can always, if you don't like, if you like the way the sounds lay, you can change your image transitions up here. Um, or you can move sounds around, obviously, down here. But like I said, I want to see the automation lanes opened up for each of the sounds. And uh, one final uh, thing, and this is a good habit to have, go to the master block um, down in the lower left corner. And we want to use a VST plugin that I've discussed in previous assignments, and that's the W1. Uh, you can do a Google search for his name and W1 limiter, and it's a free download for Mac or PC, um, and then it'll walk you through the installation. And this is a good way to make sure that your overall out output isn't uh, clipped. So I'm just going to drop my uh, threshold back a little bit. And <clears throat> that should be good. So uh, the final thing that you want to do is, well, save it and make sure that all your sounds are in there. So let's actually peek over here and delete, and you'll see that... Oh, none of the sounds or images are in there. So a critical step that I went over at 13 minutes and 40 seconds at the uh, in the other video for the previous assignment, um, one problematic thing with Reaper, potentially, is that you need to go to Save Project As and, <coughs> and um, copy all media into project directory using. So every time uh, when you save as you're working, it'll save all your moves and your edits, but it won't save the actual uh, files if you're dropping images or sounds in there. So if I hit save now, it won't replace my Reaper file with a, a later version. That's fine. Uh, and if you go in here now, you'll see that all of my edits and the, uh, the repeaks and the wave files are all in there. Um, and then you can take that with you. Uh, obviously, this is the kind of thing that I would like to see zipped up and uh, delivered to me, and, along with a final export. So how do you export uh, a movie? And this is a slideshow movie from Reaper. Well, you go to uh, File, and you go to Render, and you can um, pick the output format down here. So you can do a, an, an MPEG right here that should be good the other thing oh that i would like you to to um, be aware of is the sample rate um, so actually before you start your project uh, this is a little oversight um, because i was working on another project here make sure your sample rate is at 48 um, kilohertz so i'm actually going to cancel this and you can you can see there's a little reminder up here um, that it will tell you the bit depth and your sample rate so if you go to your device settings <clears throat> you will uh, want to go to, and this is for my device, I'm going to go to audio MIDI setup. In my case, I'm going to actually have to go in and change my audio MIDI setup here. We should see. Okay, so now that you have your sample rate set, let's go back into render. We're going to go render. I'm going to save this, um, actually put it uh, on the desktop into my delete folder and make sure that we have it set for um, the format is video and MPEG-4 actually let's check our other settings so it's this is the same thing when you export different audio formats you can pick uh, a couple of different video formats we're going to do an MP MP4 MPEG-4 here and then we yeah, make sure that it's going to uh, the right place and we render the file and render it. And lo and behold, here it is. So always double check uh, your final export and make sure that it plays. So I'm just going to hit spacebar. Okay, uh, so the rest uh, is up to you. Uh, make sure you have 8 to 12 slides and they, you have three individual sounds per slide and they can overlap. That's great. Uh, have fun.